Uh, but for me, my only association with that plant was uh, I didn't like eating it because I was a kid. <laughs> I, I didn't like those days. Um, it, it was an opportunity for me to spend time with my grandmother because um, uh, my sister would go off to school when I was really little. And my grandmother and I, we would just go down to the creek um, and I would throw rocks at snakes. That was honestly what I would do. Stephen, can I just ask you a little bit? I mean, you are in a pretty special position as an actor um, being able to work in the US with TV series like you know, The Walking Dead and also in South Korea with films like Okja and and burning. Um, so going forward, where do you see yourself? And is it difficult to balance the, the demands of two industries in two different countries, both of which want you? Um, uh, I hope both want me. <laughs> um, I don't know yet. Uh, I've just been kind of really <laughs> been going case by case, if I'm, if I'm to be honest. Um, you know, I, I, after I was fortunate enough to be on um, Walking Dead, um, I didn't really go to seek out film in Korea um, or projects in Korea. Um, I was really just trying to focus here. And um, the one thing that I got to touch when I first did Okja uh, that kind of sent me on a different path was, um, I guess, a, a truer reflection of the place that I inhabited as, as kind of just an immigrant kid. Um, uh, you know, working in that movie as that character K, who is caught between two worlds and in some ways unable to service either of them effectively, I think, um, kind of mirrored a reality for me where I was where I was kind of allowed to see myself a little bit clearer. And then um, for Burning or, uh, you know, then Be Nutty to come along, it kind of just feels like a season. Um, uh, I, I don't know. It feels very fortuitous, to be quite honest with you. Burning came out of nowhere um, to be able to work with such an incredible director uh, like Lee Chung, Lee Chung Dong is, 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 you know, a dream. And so um, that one I just said yes to, you know, I was like, yes, of course. Um, and then, you know, with Isaac, you know, reading his script and, and knowing his talent, like just I guess that's that's all I'm really in search for as an actor is things where I can feel a little bit fuller, um, that I can participate in a way where I can participate as a human and maybe not as like sometimes uh, a construct or an idea. Um, and so wherever any of those projects are, um, I think those will probably be where I gravitate towards, um, whether it be in America or Korea or anywhere. Um, but I will say, um, speaking in Korean, um, it's 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 a lot more work for me. <laughs> so, um, you know, maybe maybe I'll uh, keep it to English for a little bit, but um, or I'll just keep improving. Um, but you know, it's um, it's just I don't know. I I I don't know where I'm headed. I'm just kind of uh, riding this ride right now. To be quite honest, I'm 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 very thankful for this ride. I'm going to just ask something, going back to the, the sort of, maybe not the writing process, but the, the title of the film, obviously it's um, taken from a plant, um, but obviously there is a sort of significance to it and it has a symbolism. Um, so I just wondered, could you explain a little bit about, you know, what does it mean in Korean culture, in cuisine, um, and, and what's the symbolic element that it brings to, to the film? Um. You know, to be honest, I didn't know much about Minari other than what it meant for my own personal family uh, growing up in Arkansas. I, I just knew that it was a plant that grew really well at this creek where my grandmother planted it. Um, and my parents would always talk about how healthy it is and how good it is for you. Uh, but for me, my only association with that plant was uh, I didn't like eating it because I, I was a kid. <laughs> I, I didn't like those days. Um, it, it was an opportunity for me to spend time with my grandmother because um, uh, my sister would go off to school when I was really little and my grandmother and I, we would just go down to the creek um, and I would throw rocks at snakes. That was honestly what I would do. And she would pick this plant and, uh, and we would just talk and joke together. Um, so there's an association with that plant for me that's purely emotional. Um, but as I was researching the plant later, as I was writing the script, you know, I, I learned that uh, the plant itself, it's very robust. It grows 
uh, in the first season, it, it, it's something you try to let die and then you harvest it in the second uh, season, in the second growing of it. And so, somehow that encapsulates the immigrant experience for many of us. Um, and and it, it tends to make the water around it very clean. It, it gets planted in very dirty conditions, but it, it purifies what, wherever it is. Um, so just, you know, learning those things, it, it just felt like um, icing on top that those are really the poetic resonances of the plant itself. Um, so can you talk a bit about, you know, the choice of working with the uh, cinematographer, Lachlan Mill, um, and how you worked with him to create this, this look? Yeah, uh, Lachlan Milne is one of my favorite people on this earth. Uh, he, he's a superhero to me. Um, we, we had such little time to do this film uh, on production. And um, a lot of the look is really um, him working intuitively and, and uh, shaping the lighting and, and uh, finding the right angles uh, that we need um, while letting me focus a lot on the actors. Um, but, but something that we talked a lot about as we were uh, deciding to look and figuring out, you know, where to put the camera and all those things, we, 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 uh, we didn't want it to be completely realist where it's just like documentary style or anything like that. But we wanted a feeling of a fable, a feeling of a tale. Um, and so there's a slight, we, we talked about creating a slight staged element to it as well. Um, but letting that feel like a, a very natural sort of stage where, where everything um, looks naturally lit and um, striking that balance. I, I just got to say that I, I, I give my hats off to Lockie. It, it's almost like everything that I wanted and hoped for, like he understood internally and knew and knew how to make happen. Um, so the very first shot that we did was um, uh, Stephen comes in with the money after buying the tractor and, and puts it in the dresser. Um, and then they have kind of that, that moment of a failed kiss. Um, and I, I was so stressed about this production and how are we gonna deliver? And a, as soon as I saw the way that Lockheed has set up the lighting and everything, uh, I'd say half of the burden that I was feeling just felt like it was lifting like, oh, I found my partner here. This is my partner. Um, and, and from then on out, it was our first time working together. Um, I mean, I, I trusted him completely and, and um, it, it was a joy to, to work with him. He's, he's a great DP.